what's good it's your boy pb3g and secret invasion episode four what a shocking reveal man this video is going to contain spoilers so if you haven't watched secret invasion up until now you might as well just go watch it come back we are here to talk about that roadie reveal roadie is a scroll you know what I'm saying? And it's not a, pretty much that much shocking because if you've been watching since episode one, you kind of figured that Rhodey was going to be a scroll. Even before this came out, there was theories that Rhodey was a scroll. But for how long? When did they take, when did the scrolls replace Rhodey? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to break all of that down as long, uh, along with the episode in this video today. I'm going to read this report from Screen Rant written by Simon Gallagher. I pretty much agree with everything Simon said. Please, if you're new here, recurring viewer, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notifications bell. All right, let's get into it. So. After teasing for three episodes, Secret Invasion has revealed Don Cheadle's Rhodey is a scroll, delivering on Marvel Comics' imposter Avengers idea with huge ramifications. In all honesty, the scroll war machine twist wasn't a huge shock. Secret Invasion has dropped multiple hints that Rhodey is a scroll in Phase 5, but seeing the Phase 2 Avenger transform into female scroll Rava after telling Priscilla Fury to kill Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury was still a huge moment. The reveal that Rhodey is a scroll inevitably sparks some significant questions, even with Secret Invasion Episode 4 throwing in two other major twists. Not only did Amelia Clark's Gaia survive being seemingly killed by Gravik thanks to turning herself into a super scroll, but Ben Middleston's Talos was killed off by the new MCU supervillain. Fury now faced the daunting task of taking down Gravik without his most powerful ally, having already lost Maria Hill in Secret Invasion Episode 1 and robbed of his military support thanks to Rhodey's scroll reveal. Here's what it all means. Now, after setting up Rhodey as a scroll for the first three episodes of Secret Invasion, Episode 4 pulled the trigger, revealing him to be Priscilla's boss. Working under Gravik, the scroll Rhodey had infiltrated the U.S. government, getting close to President Ritson to take him out as part of Gravik's explosive false flag operation. The scroll Rhodey demands Priscilla kill her husband, with Fury hot on Gravik's tail, despite repeated insults suggesting he's not the man he once was. While helping to orchestrate the assassination attempt on Ritson, that operation is staged as a Russian mission in revenge for the terrorist attack on Moscow that killed thousands, including Kobe Smulders' Maria Hill. Rhodey's Skrull imposter is also revealed to be a female, an alien called Rava, and played by Nisha Aaliyah, a British actress who has so far appeared in small roles in Ghosts, UK Soap, Emmerdale, and the 2021 remake of The Girls on the Train. Rava's name may be familiar to, to Marvel Comics fans as the Skrull prisoner from Black Bolt No. 1 from, in 2017, Rava the Unscrolled, who aids in Black Bolt's escape from a deep space torture prison. Interestingly, Rava was a rogue scroll who portrayed the scroll empire after the murder of her children, but Secret Invasion ch changes her origin entirely to make her a loyal follower of Gravik. As with the reveal of Martin Freeman's Agent Ross as a scroll in Secret Invasion Episode 1, the biggest question about Rhodey's scroll is how long ago the imposter took over. There's also other factors at play. Where is the real Rhodey? Was he still the real Rhodey during the events of Avengers Endgame? The real Rhodey will presumably be captured in New Skrullos in one, in, in one of the Skrull pods, though he cannot be stashed with the other high-profile targets, because Gaia would have warned Talos and Nick Fury that Rhodey was a, a Skrull before the truth was revealed. With that in mind, he must be hidden somewhere else. The question of how long ago Rhodey was replaced by a Skrull is more is a more complex one. Looking back to Avengers Endgame, Rhodey seemed to be himself. He is a, he is loyal to the Avengers, playing a key role in the defeat of Thanos and the Black Order, and there is no hint of sabotage from within. There is, of course, the possibility that Rhodey's scroll replacement wasn't yet an extremist under Gravik's leadership and was simply a strategic tar target by the benevolent scroll council. That wouldn't fit with Nick Fury's relationship with Talos, neither of of whom would have endorsed replacing an Avenger, logically speaking. 
It seems more likely that War Machine was replaced after Endgame, sometime following Iron Man's death. That would also help explain the upcoming events of Armor Wars, which sees Rhodey cleaning up the mess of Stark's technology falling into the wrong hands. If he was replaced after Stark's death and Scroll Rhodey focused instead on his political career to get close to the president, Stark tech being stolen would fly under the radar. That would also explain why Rhodey's rise in the U.S. government was so at odds with his insubordination to General Ross in Endgame. McFury already revealed that he would not call in the Avengers when Rhodey suggested it after the attack on Moscow, fearing Gravik's warriors would beat them and take their powers to create even stronger Super Scrolls. That makes sense when you're faced with the likes of Captain Marvel, Bruce Banner's Hulk, Thor, or any of the other genetically powered heroes. Even Doctor Strange is, pow is a powerful target because his magic is learned and scrolls can steal minds. The supposedly second string Avengers, therefore, were always the most likely to be replaced. After all, Secret Invasion needed to avoid overpowering the super scrolls and making them impossible to take down. Unfortunately for Rhodey, he's arguably the weakest Avenger with the highest value because of his military rank and path to get close to President Ritson. He has no genetic powers, so Marvel Studios could stop the Super Scrolls getting too powerful without breaking their rule of keeping the superhero team away. Politically speaking, Rhodey is the best candidate to infiltrate the U.S. government and help Gravik's false flag operation to kick off a global war. So it's not all just about Rhodey being weak enough to be a loophole. Secret Invasion actually revealed War Machine's real value, even as the Avengers have failed to really deliver on his potential, setting up an intriguing future story when the real Rhodey returns and has to clean up Nick Fury's mess once more. So that's the article for Secret Invasion. I kind of agree with when Rhodey was taken. I believe it was after, after Endgame and after... Tony Stark died at first I was thinking he might have been took took in during the events of Civil War after he went through his surgery but I think that's just too far back and I saw a lot of comments out there of people saying that they wanted it to be like a meta joke uh, where Rhodey got switched out during the casting change of Terrence Howard to Don Cheeto I, I, I wasn't a fan of that you know what I'm saying? I really thought it was Civil War, but then when I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, it makes more sense that it was Endgame. Civil War might be way too far back, you know, for that change. But you guys let me know in the comments section below if you got any theories on when Rhodey was taken. If you think it was back in Civil War or something like that or anywhere in the MCU timeline, it's okay. You know, I, just, I think it's Endgame. I agree with Simon Gallagher here. I think it was he was taken after the events of Endgame, after they defeated Thanos. It just, it would be more easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything further back, you probably would have to, it would be more complicated. And then us fans are going to want to know, well, when, uh, you know, if he was taken during the events of Civil War, what has he been doing all this time? So then fans are going to want that story. And then, so I think it's just simpler for Marvel to say that he was taken after Endgame. It's not that long, not that much time to do a whole bunch of damage that people are going to want to be recapped on. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. What did you think about this episode? What did you think about, you know, the Rhodey reveal, the Priscilla reveal, you know, seeing uh, Gaia get become a super scroll? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Please check out some more of my videos on the channel on screen now. Like, share, and subscribe. And please turn that notification bell on for your boy. It's your boy PB3G. I holler. Gang.